Hey friends, sorry if you can hear my washing machine. I am feeling a little chaotic because I have not uploaded in a while. Although hopefully you'll see my November wrap up before you see this. Um, just been going through it, as they say, with the health crap. So this is the first time I put on an outfit in probably like two weeks. So I thought I would film it and sort of make this video another one of what I wear in a week, but I definitely won't be getting dressed every day. But also I want to show you my new shoes um which are these i got these new converse for christmas they are the common de garçon blue electric blue you guys know i love that color you see it in my house and on my clothes but i wanted to make this video to sort of um these outfits to showcase how to incorporate something that's like quite bright into your everyday wardrobe because i feel like people are really obsessed with like neutrals and classics and like if something's a bright color it's not considered classic or timeless but um i watch a couple of really cool fashion youtubers on here i'll link them down below um lani ozark and my boyfriend tom loves someone called, called drew joiner so now we watch him together which is just the most like lame fashion thing ever to do that as a couple but um we love Drew. So we, um, well, like both of them have made videos recently about like the idea of trends and the idea of like what makes a piece timeless and sort of reconstructing timeless, less so attached to like classic trends, but more so like what's timeless in your wardrobe and what feels classic to you. And a pair of Converse like is a classic shoe and is a shoe that everyone will have owned at some point in their life. But um, I was really torn when I was getting a new pair because I was like, I should probably get a basic colour, but I love these blue ones so much. I've been lusting after them for like maybe a year and a half. Um, so when I put them on my Christmas list from my mum, I was like, oh, I don't feel as bad because they're a gift, so they don't need to be so neutral. But actually I've worn them with everything in my wardrobe since I've had them. Like I have not taken them off my feet. They go with everything because I built a wardrobe around the colour blue. Like I already know I love it. So it's sort of like that colour is a staple to me. It's classic to me. I don't think I'll ever get sick of it. I don't love it because it's in trend right now. It goes in and out of trend. And like this jumper I've owned for like four, three or four years and it has that color blue on it. So I know it has longevity to me and my style, if that makes sense at all. So anyway, I thought I would just do these videos, this um, set of outfits and wear my Converse every day and show you how they match with loads of different things in my wardrobe. And I know Tom runs quite a similar system in his wardrobe, but he operates like a very like green and orange color palette like orange is his color pop he has orange converse and he has a lot of like orange accessories but they fit really seamlessly into his navy blues and his army greens and like the colors that he wears so i think like we were talking about in the comments of another video it's about sort of considering your style as this like movable creature that's less driven by what's in the shops and more driven by like what you know you love and i know that's really hard to come to like to, to work out what it is that you love but in another one of laney's videos she talked about like i know i don't love a trend when it takes me like five or six times to see someone wearing it before i love it whereas you really have to go with that gut instinct like ultra mini uggs are so in right now and i think they are so ugly same with crocs no offense if you're a croc girly go for it one of my best friends is the absolute queen of crocs but like i've never found them attractive but they've been bombarded into my social media to the point where i'm like huh maybe i would i would wear crocs or maybe i would wear mini uggs but like that's not truly my style i've just been indoctrinated by seeing them so many times and then I feel like, oh, maybe I do like them, but that's actually probably not deep down true. That's just me trying to conform to what's in fashion. Does that make sense at all? I'm going to link Lainey's video because I feel like it explains it more eloquently. And I'll show you what I'm wearing. It's Sunday. I'm going to meet a friend for a coffee and then Tom and I are going to buy our Christmas tree. So that's the vibe. It's very Arctic winter. I've said in another one that I love white jeans in the winter. I think it's very chic and like feels very Scandy to me. So... I'm wearing my wide leg, white Zara jeans. Sorry, this frame is wonky, isn't it? I'm never gonna be one of those organized, chic fashion girlies. Um, the white jeans are super wide leg, super comfy. They're very old Zara. I got them for like two euros at a public sale here or a flea market. And I really love them, would suggest seeking them out on Depop. If you're looking for a pair, they're like so worn in the denims so loose and thin and i really like them and then like i said i'm wearing my new converse um which are common to us on i got them on farfetch i think they're so cute i did get a seven and i kind of they're sizing and i really wish i got a six and a half but 
I'm just gonna get in soles and actually when I'm wearing my thick cashmere socks, which I am right now, will be all winter, they fit really well, so that is what it is. Then <laughs> my scarf is also second hand. I got it, this grey one, I got it at the flea market quite recently, or like a few months ago. This jumper is like a classic Argyle wool vibe. It's like very stiff, but I actually find these jumpers very comfy. I know people are really funny about textures and sensory things so am i there's some fabrics i find disgusting on my skin but for me i quite like a stiff wool like a worn in almost like extra washed tight knit um so yeah this one is from beyond retro in brighton i think i bought it like three winters ago maybe the winter i moved there it's got this dash of cobalt blue and pink another one of my favorite colors so it's kind of made for me i think it was about 40 quid but it's such a staple and i think it can be dressed up over like a really slinky skirt and it looks kind of cool in the evening as well and then underneath i'm wearing my ll bean gilet if you've watched any of these by now you know that gilets are literally my staple item in my wardrobe i cannot live without them this one again is vintage it's like a very cropped almost too small for me with this jumper on size but i just wear it open i've got my heat tech on underneath so i'm super warm i'm feeling very anti-coat this season anyone else with me like i just don't wear a coat, I don't want to ruin my outfit, like, and I also don't want to buy loads of coats, or like vintage coats, so my wardrobe expands, because they're obviously so big to store, so I do just have like three staple coats, and I'm already sick of wearing them, so yeah, I'm doing the whole natural fibres and thermals to see if that keeps me warm, I'm only going like to the coffee shop, and then to the bookshop, and then home, like I'm not out and about, you know, so I feel like it's fine, I probably will put my mittens on, and another thing that's keeping me xxx warm is my balaclava which these are of course very trendy right now i did get this one last winter and i feel like i felt like a bit of a freak wearing it last year um and my family definitely made fun of me when i wore it back at home in london but i know they're so trendy now like i feel like everyone's wearing them and more than anything they are so warm and so comfy especially if you live here in amsterdam and you cycle like having your ears covered life-changing but also when i go back home to my mum's and if we walk the dog she's always complaining about how her ears being so sore and i'm not suggesting she should get a balaclava but i do find them so practical more than anything this is a woolen one from i want to say and other stories i could definitely learn to knit one of these but my hand i just haven't been able to knit that much this year because my hand they're having trouble with my hands um so that's a bummer but i do really like them and I feel like last winter they were not online at all like you couldn't really find them on Depop and Vinted but I feel like the trend cycle has gone around so yes there are more people wearing them but there's also more people who bought them last year who are like oh, I don't really care so they're getting rid of them as well and I love the pink with the pink I do find it sometimes quite hard to style the neck this has quite a high neck so it's quite nice but I think a good trick is also to put a scarf over the top and then it all becomes one sort of cozy situation if that makes sense so this is my outfit. I'm off to get a nice mocha and a cinnamon swirl with my friend Jemima, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hey friends, welcome back to another day of wearing my blue Converse. I'm going out to do a bit of work, and then Tom and I are going to the cinema. We're going to see a Dutch film, I think it's Dutch, called Peace of My Heart. It's about like 1970s ballet in Amsterdam, and sometimes I'm quite partial to a ballerina film, so... I'll let you know how that is. Feeling very cultured because I'm pretty sure it's subtitled, so you have to pay attention a lot. Anyway, I thought the shoe I'm wearing is kind of chilly, but I'm only going like to the tram and then I'll be inside and I hate getting hot at the cinema. So it's all about layers this afternoon. So these jeans look very familiar because they look really similar to those Levi ones that I ended up buying and loving, but these were a pair I purchased on Depop before I bought those Levi ones when I was on the hunt for a pair of dark wash jeans and I don't know why because now I put these back on I think like oh yeah these are really quite similar but they weren't right at the time they're definitely um a bit big so I think that's also why but they're the weekday row jeans I got them on vintage like I said but the row style is like such a guarantee for me um I really like it and this they don't make this color right now but it's like a dark blue with a white stitch it's almost, it's not like an overwashed indigo, it's almost fake, if that makes sense. I'm not sure, I'm very specific on using washes. But anyway, I picked them out today because I didn't want to wear the cuffed 
jeans, which I was talking about over on Instagram, my new Levi's, I don't know whether to get them hemmed or to keep the cuff, but I feel like these are, they're not as short as I would want them. I feel like the style at the moment is to have them really quite short, particularly with like a low shoe, not necessarily with a shoe like this, but anyway, thought I'd give them a while today. And yeah, just a shout out to the weekday jeans in general. They're always all over Instagram, um, all over Depop and Vinted. So if you're looking for new jeans, then definitely just try on a pair in store and then go look online for the style. Cause I think they only sell like four or five styles. So anyway, that's those. Then I'm wearing the blue Converse as ever. And I do have a fun bright pink sock on, but you can't really see it because the trousers are long. And then like I say, layers. This is a vintage, I would describe it maybe as like a docker jacket. It's like a brushed wool. I love it. I've had it for about five years. I've had it, I bought it really soon after Tom and I started dating. So like almost six years and he loves it too. Like we fight fought over this jacket for so long and we've also bought so many in between in the years i just realized my bloody like vase is in the shop and um, we've bought so many trying to like duplicate this look like a gray one or a black one and we've never found one so good i'll tell you why we love it so much we love because it doesn't have an elasticated um hem around here which is so common in like vintage jackets to have that like cinch look which really marks a jacket I feel like it's very 80s which is not what we were going for um or 90s in like the windbreaker style so I love this box fit that's like one of my favorite styles so I love that I love the navy blue and the brushed wool it does pick up a lot of fibers I have had it dry clean before and it's sort of like the inside as you can see it's kind of losing its smartness but it's just so perfect that neither of us want to give it up. Um, it's very unisex. I think it is a man's jacket, technically. We got it in uh, the Beyond Retro warehouse in Brighton when they used to be at that big location. I really don't like the new location if you're a Brightonian. I feel like it's gone downhill since they, they left the warehouse. So yes, this is like very old school Beyond Retro. I feel like they wouldn't even stock something like this anymore. It's way too workwear, not enough trendy, but Tom and I both love like a workwear utilitarian style. So that's why we love this and we're always on the hunt for a new one. It's not, it's like bigger than a shacket as well. And I feel like it looks way more timeless than like the shackets you see now. I think also because it's got the dark buttons and the poppers instead of buttons. And then they're like not any hardware. They're just blended in navy. I don't know, do you know, I just find something. I really like to hone in on why I think it's perfect because it really helps me find if I'm looking for something similar or a duplicate or need to replace something really honing in on the bits that I think are why I love it. That really helps me. But anyway, underneath that, I'm wearing, this is actually Tom's, a suede gilet. Gilets are definitely part of my uniform. I feel like they jazz up any outfit and provide a really warm layer. This is suede. Tom got this at, I think it's called Humana. It's a chain of thrift stores in Berlin and maybe in other parts of Germany. Um, but there's a massive one that we always go to whenever we're in Berlin and he picks it up there and it's quite out of his comfort zone at the time but he wears it loads now. Underneath that this is a new purchase or like new to me from earlier this season. It's a vintage Burberry woolen jumper, a v-neck in this lovely oatmeal colour. I won't lie to you, I put this on because Tom wore it yesterday and it was on our like pile of doom where we can't be bothered to put our clothes away before we go to bed. So I did just put it on this morning and then have kept it on for date night. So that's that. And then underneath, I of course have um, heat tech, Uniqlo heat tech thermals because it's like two degrees outside. You've got to keep your layers on. So that's the outfit. I'm going to carry my North Face bag that you've seen loads of times because I need to take my laptop with me. And I'm probably going to throw on just a plain grey scarf. I don't have a warm toned scarf. I would like one of those this season, but yeah, this is just again another casual look wearing the blue shoes but mixing them with a much more neutral and warm tone palette so showing you why i love them so i will catch you guys in another one of these hopefully at the weekend i will be able to dress them up to show you them perhaps with a skirt or a dress so see you guys then hey friends excuse the lighting is the situation with the weather right now but I'll show you my outfit, um, another way to wear these converse. It is freezing and I'm actually repeating, it's Sunday morning, but I wore this outfit out last night as well to go and watch Morocco win and be the first African nation to 
head into this, to the World Cup semi-finals, so that was very exciting. We went to watch with a friend and then we went out to celebrate in the streets because if you're not from Amsterdam, you might not know, but there's a huge uh, Moroccan community that live here and yeah, it was so fun to go out and support all the people who were chuffed to see Morocco go far. So it was super cold, we were standing outside for a long time watching fireworks and I needed to be warm, but then we were also inside, like obviously watching the game, so I had to layer smartly. Underneath all of this, I'm wearing my saviour heat tech long johns, like leggings on top. I just went over yesterday to Uniglo to buy one more set because I'm going to uh, London next week to celebrate Christmas with friends and I've heard it's very cold there so I want another set because I don't know we're like bopping between friends sofas and I don't know how much access I'm gonna have to washing machines and thermals although great do get a bit stinky so that's what I'm wearing underneath all of that and then I'm wearing my LF Marquee Jameson trousers which are super comfy I've shown them before and on Instagram they're like a, I don't mind the food shopping they're like a loose tracksuit pant. These are a 14 and they definitely run big. I got my new ones, I think, in a 12. And it made me realize just how big these ones are. Like they do slide down a bit, but they're super baggy, long fit, heavyweight cotton, tracksuit material, love them. And then obviously I'm wearing the blue Converse with a woolen, actually, I think it's a cashmere socks that I got a few years ago that are so soft, like my warmest, coziest socks. And then on the top half, I'm actually wearing nothing blue. So this was just an example to show you how I feel like these go with outfits that aren't even trying to incorporate the colour scene. This is like a super neutral outfit. I do wish I had a warm toned scarf. This scarf is grey. I got it at the IJ haul in, but I am in the market for like an oatmeal or a beige scarf. I think that would be great because on my top half, I'm fully invested in the balaclava club they are so warm so practical for living in the city or if you live somewhere cold this one is from weekday i got it earlier in the season you can also definitely knit one of these this is like a hooded style one with the elastic but yeah just couldn't live without them on team balaclava over team hat for sure and i love the way this one bunches up and sort of looks like a hood so i've got that on and then this jacket is from Wolf and Gypsy Vintage, it's like one of their reclaimed jackets. I bought it when I lived in Brighton, which is where Wolf and Gypsy is, but I think you can get them online. They're like a quilted duvet jacket, but in a padded cotton as opposed to a waterproof. It's not that thick, but this layering combination is super, super warm. It was minus two last night and I, with my mittens on, I did not feel cold at all. I think heat tech really does the, does the work for me and especially wearing the leggings as well because these are loose trousers and having that tight layer underneath really makes a difference so yeah this was my jacket and then underneath I'm wearing this jumper which is vintage folk who are like a old British heritage brand and I have not worn this in a couple of years but I'm glad I didn't get rid of it because it's like kind of strange but like none of this really makes sense but I really enjoy it it's kind of coat of armsy slash Basquiat illustration, I'm not sure, but yeah, I think it's like adds a bit of interest, a very unique piece, so that's what I had on. And then I was carrying a new handbag, or new to me, for second hand, I got this one on Vinted. If you guys have been around for a while, you know I've been looking to replace or just like find an alternative to my raffia bag that I wear in the summer all the time. And this is basically the same size and shape. It's very hard to show you with a black jacket on, but it's a like puff, material the only problem which i did not foresee is the fact it doesn't really go with my puffer jacket like my arquette puffer that i wear when it's super rainy because i feel like then i just look like the michelin man but with this jacket it looks really nice um and with all my other coats that i like to wear so it is what it is i think sometimes if you're someone who's like trying to be a conscious shopper or focus on sustainable stuff you want to buy things that match everything you own and like you're really looking to maximize the the versatility of a purchase so that's what took me an underdog so long over buying this because i couldn't think about the i was kept thinking about the things it wouldn't match with so it matches with 90 percent of the stuff i own and i think that's pretty good it's not like i'm buying things that only match with one other outfit which is something i really try and avoid so this is a really classic shape it's like a mini tote but i love the long strap it's not adjustable which it's kind of annoying, but it is a good size. It fits a book, it fits a water bottle, 
and mo most importantly it has a zip across the front which I really enjoy living in a city obviously like best to keep your things safe and have access to a like have your bag to be secure um wipe down waterproof like really can't fault it I got it on vintage like I said but it is our cat so yeah that's the fit let me know if you like it and I will catch you for a couple more of these next week just before I pack up and head to London hello friends one more blue outfit for you I wanted to do like a nice dress outfit but honestly I just haven't been wearing those kind of clothes so I realized all of these outfits are pretty casual to show you with converse but nonetheless they all look good because I've coordinated my wardrobe to make this cobalt blue one of my like statement colors that fits in so then that's what makes it more these shoes way more timeless and way more easy to adapt into my wardrobe is because I'm fitting them with colors I already have if that makes sense I think I mentioned earlier that how Tom has done the same but with orange so yeah this is just different outfits to show you how I've done that as you can see I'm already a fan of this color because you can see it everywhere in my home but top to bottom and bottom to top same converse obviously these are some lightweight ribbed knit trousers from Amber Stories a few years ago they're super comfy elastic waist wool material super warm but also look kind of smart they're like a flared bottom and then on top I'm wearing this whistles long pinstripe navy blue coat it's definitely a bit small on the arms to be wearing with a jumper so thick um I think I mentioned before this isn't my ideal coat it was a hand down from my mum I'd love to replace it with something more structured and more oversized but this is what we're working with today underneath i'm wearing one of my favorite jumpers this was a trash shop find where all the best knitwear comes from um although this is probably like five or six years old like i've had it since definitely before i turned maybe even older than that maybe more like 10 years old like from being a teenager and i know they sell for so much money now on depop but this was probably eight quid in a charity shop a long time ago my uh made by me knitted scarf that i knitted last winter it's from a wool in the gang like white off cream wool with multicolor speckles also redid my nails to <laughs> match my shoes or not just but because i have a work project at the end of this week that involves being photographed and i wanted my nails done and i thought how can i make the photos represent me and i picked having my nails that color and then on top i'm wearing blue fisherman beanie which is from ebay a long time ago tom bought like a bundle in loads of colors and i don't love my hair in hats because i've lost so much hair in the last year and a half but i do think they're great for keeping warm so that is the hat of choice today and that's the outfit this is probably the shortest clip i've made of this one and i'll give you one more tomorrow which will be my outfit for the euro start for heading back to london so i'll see you guys then Hey guys, welcome back to so the last one of these outfits with um, signing my Converse. Please excuse my voice if you can, if I sound funny, I've got an ulcer on the back of my tongue and it's so fucking painful. So this is a very casual outfit. Like I said, I wanted to include something a bit more smart with the Converse, but that's just not how my dressing has worked out this week. So I thought I would just show you what I'm wearing to get on the Eurostar back to London. If you can see mess behind me, it's because we're in a packing frenzy and there's crap everywhere. But from top to bottom, I'm wearing my Arquette Re-Down Puffer, which is like their recycled puffer. I got it, I want to say three years ago, and it's the best investment piece I ever made in my winter wardrobe because it's so warm, but so lightweight. And although it looks very puffy now, it packs down, like it, you can really compress the, um, the recycle down in it and it makes it great for travel. As I said, I'm heading back to London for a week or so and also going down to the coast with friends. So it's going to be freezing cold and although I have loads of cool trendy jackets this is most practical when you're going away on a trip and you can only take one jacket with you so this is what we're taking underneath I have another Arquette piece I got this for Christmas from my mum like she gave it to me when she came to visit and it's a um like mid-toned classic green like secondary color green lightweight wool jumper and it has like bell sleeves it's so cute and I re feel really good when I wear it, which I feel like is always a bonus and I'm wearing it today because it's quite a lightweight layer to put in my bag if I need to. I've just got a long sleeve t-shirt on underneath and it's going to be like my main like nice jumper that I'm wearing throughout the next 10 days of being 
in the UK, so I packed this one and then like a super heavyweight one and a sweatshirt and like those will go in rotation. I really wish I had the energy this week to show you what I packed because I have been implementing or have tried to for most of this year on my trip implement a much more of a capsule wardrobe packing system and using wearing the app that I talked to you about the other week um, has really helped me with that but unfortunately my body was in rebellion for the past few weeks so I haven't been able to do that and Tom did my packing for me while I directed him from the bed so that's how it ended up and then on the bottom I'm wearing the LF Marquee Jameson trousers but in navy blue I just bought the navy blue ones with me as my like chill tracksuit pants but also could wear them on a Sunday walk with a friend while I'm in London but I packed the navy blue over the cream because it's just more practical for travel like I'm, I'm the person who spills shit on everything and it just gives me peace of mind to wear a darker colour trouser and then of course I'm wearing my converse on the bottom and I don't think I pointed this out when I showed them earlier but they have a black the common on the heart is black so it really ties together the blue and black I know some people are anti navy blue and black as a concept but I am not one of those people I'm going to run errands now so I'm just carrying my tiny little tankin bag but I will have a tote bag and my suitcase with me um when I get on the train later so this is the fit and I'm actually going to be taking these shoes and then another pair of trainers and they will be my shoes for my like nine or ten days in London so they definitely have got my money's worth out of them already and let me know if this video inspired you to pick up a colourful pair of shoes and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye!